industry needs power. So do hospitals. So do essential services. At home, you can get by with less. So I've just done some pre-shading on these. And the next thing to do is, of course, add the white paint. So, let's get on with that. So I just thought I'd do a quick recap as to how far I've got so far. Um, as you can see, uh, here's the shield, that's all done. Um, all of the inner frame parts done in duralanium, all now completed. Uh, all of the leg armour parts over here, and all of the upper body and arm parts over here. So all that remains at the minute is to do this lot and this is all going to be masked off in various patterns using uh, combinations of uh, oranges and reds pretty much the same way that the shield's done and once that's completed um, everything's going to get a clear coat and then it's time to start panel lining and uh, yeah that's going to be a task in itself. I've got this far, so far with the Gatling gun. Um, it's looking a bit weird and a bit blobby at the minute. But that's because I kind of scratched in some panel lines but they weren't working very well. So I thought I should uh, fill them in and start again. And also I need to start thinking about how the cannon is going to attach to the model. So I've got a little peg here. And I've tested that against uh, the arm bracket to make sure that it fits on okay. And I then need to figure out where the <laughs> where the bullet chain is going to feed into, which is a which is a new task in itself. And I've also got to figure out how I'm going to paint this because it is flexible, and I would like it to be a kind of a metallic in style. So I shall have to give that some thought. So. Without further ado, let's uh, get on and do some masking. 
Okay, after about three hours of masking, literally, um, I'm ready to start painting. Uh, I'm going to be using three colours, and that's uh, kind of reddish orange, uh, red, and a little bit of a um, little bit of grey here and there, and uh, more or less ready to go. So I'm going to start off with the red, I think. Right, so as you can see, all of the white parts are now finished. All the masking I wanted to get done is now done. The next step is to give this all a bit of um, a gloss coat to prepare it for some panel lining. A couple of bits here where I kind of screwed up the uh, masking, you can see it there. So I'm going to touch these up now, just get that fixed. Also I had a bit of a go at panel lining when I shouldn't have done. Moment of madness, so I'm going to give that another coat of white just to fix that. And yeah. Okay, I've finished gloss coating and I've assembled all the parts now. As you can see, uh, it's a leg and a leg, and this is the waist section here, which is looking okay. Uh, that's the head, upper body, um, shield, arms, main weapon. Uh, just did a quick assembly just to see what it's like, and it is incredibly weak. I mean it seriously is on the verge of falling apart so I'm going to have to think for a bit about how to reinforce it but, uh, first I'm going to do some detailing and then it's on to weathering Okay, so I'm taking a quick break from panel lining, as you can see, uh, the gun's turned out okay, I've not had any real issues uh, with doing the lines, the shield turned out quite well, a little bit inconsistent in places, but um, otherwise looking okay, and you can see a bit underneath there, that's the head, um, is the waist section and the uh, kind of booster pack underneath it. Uh, just got the legs and arms to go, and I need to paint up a couple of pieces that I somehow missed off. <laughs> so I'll be doing these uh, a little bit later today. Hopefully, uh, we can get this done this weekend. We shall see.